So I'm outside in my PJs right now, looking like boss. And that is because it is like two degrees outside. And despite our best efforts being in a lovely insulated trailer that's keeping us nice and toasty, there are some things that are just beyond your control. Here's our lovely heat wrapped insulated water hose that's been doing us very, very well. Last night, well, I don't even know how cold it got. It's two degrees right now with the sun shining. So then this happened. The water spigot is completely iced over. Not much we can do about that. So yeah, we are currently uh, without water and I am outside in my PJs because I must trek to the clubhouse to go use the bathroom. <laughs> And it is cold and frosty indeed, but I have no choice because we have no water. Lift up the, the faucets, nothing comes out. And I was really worried that even with all of our precautions, maybe our pipes froze. And we were all prepared to do a video about that once we figured it out and found out what was happening. And then Brian went out to walk the dog and saw that. Um, I started talking to the guy here and we're definitely not the only ones experiencing this problem so whew, we're gonna hope it warms up today yesterday had only a high of 14 and today has a high of 34 so the hope is that it will unfreeze and we will get water back but 34 is just barely above freezing so I really don't know how well it's gonna do. The sun will hit it most of the day with the way we're facing, so that's the good part. And we're gonna hope we get water back. Um, not the easiest thing, not having any. <sighs> but um, as a longtime Coloradoan, I've lived here 10 years, I can tell you it doesn't usually get this cold, especially in December. I could count on one hand the number of times we've really had any streak of weather in the single digits. Um, for like a week here or a week there. It's just a really cold year. So uh, we didn't even get a skirt before coming down here. We didn't really have time and we figured the cold weather usually comes in January, February, March, so we would be okay um, until we came back after our little trek to Arizona. We were wrong. We um, just have way too cold of weather to really not have a skirt. A lot of people here don't have skirts though. Um, and like I said, we've been doing okay until that happened, but we'll give you a little update later when we see um, what happens to the giant icicle. <laughs> it's really something. All right guys, talk to you later. Hi everybody. Hello. I learned how to actually take video instead of a picture finally. Wow. That took a few tries. Look at you, video <laughs> master. So we're like super behind on videos and we're gonna try to crank some out. Um, I, this is the continuation of the icicle frozen. Uh, icicle de debacle. Yeah, our water being frozen. So at the time that I spoke to you, we were under the impression that the icicle on the spigot. Uh, yeah, on uh, the actual water spigot. Was the problem. But it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, actually our own, uh, our own piping or yeah, I guess piping would work. Our lines. Um, our own water lines froze up. Um, because we weren't actually using our central heat system. Well, we were using it, but it was set really low and we were compensating with all of our space heaters, all space heaters yeah. which normally is a great idea. But when it dips into negatives overnight or even single digits, apparently it's not such a great idea. No. So, um, so I guess all the heating duct, all the heating ducts, quack, quack, eh, um, <laughs> run parallel or run near the uh, the water the water lines so um, basically keeping the heat running next to the water lines is a good idea it keeps them nice and toasty yes now this may not be a problem when we have a skirt but it's, it's a problem not right a problem, now it's also not a problem above 20 degrees for us yeah yeah so. um, and so last night we thought we had it all cool and figured out um, left the heat at like 73 so that it keeps the water from freezing, but it was six degrees and we ran out of, we ran out of propane in that one tank. So, <laughs> so we wake up and it's freezing in there and our water's frozen again. We suck at life. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I had to go out there in my PJs in six degree weather and turn the switch. It sucked. Okay, so we're gonna try to not have that happen again. Try to be decent adults. And honest to God, like I've lived in Colorado for 10 years. This is the coldest December we've ever had. It is a really cold year. We weren't expecting it to be this cold, so we didn't really plan for this either. Um, when we come back in February, it should not be this big of a freaking deal. And we shouldn't have so much frozen water. So, um, no water for us this morning. No showers. We stanky. You're stinky. <laughs> I always smell good. <laughs> but we, we're getting it figured out. So we wanted to kind of update y'all in case uh, you have similar problems. Because we're learning. We're rookies. We do not pretend like we know no what's up. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the conclusion of this video. And we will be back with more later because we love you. And we don't want you to forget about us. No, don't forget about us. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Bye, guys.